Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen, Lavender Clothesline, and today we are going out thrifting. We're going to hit one or two stores, and I'm hoping to be able to film in those stores. Now, recently I have decided, almost decided, I'm thinking about getting a GoPro, and I've been looking into that a little bit. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to figure out how to mount the the GoPro on me, whether that means in a hat, I don't think in a hat, not really a hat girl, but probably on my chest or maybe even an armband so that I can show you all the real stuff, all the footage. And yeah, so hopefully that'll come up soon. I'm going to be looking at GoPros, probably the Black 7 or 7 Black, uh, probably around Black Friday, I'm hoping to get a deal. So while they're not really expensive anymore, sometimes the older models are better for me because it's just, they're more reviewed, there's more help um, on YouTube about it, and I'm still trying to get used to the Canon M50. I am not a camera person. So that I have created this many videos for YouTube is crazy amazing. Some of them not such great quality, but we are pushing on. So hope everybody is doing well. Let's pack our lunches, get on the road, and and see what we can find. Okay, so today we are at the Goodwill, the big Goodwill, and I am starting off with Christmas. I am just getting into the mood of Christmas. It takes me a while to warm up, but once I warm up, I love looking at all of the little tchotchkes and things that come out, just so cute. Most times I gravitate towards snowmen and snowy, frosty things. And then every little sparkly thing catches my attention. I don't sell a lot of these 22 karat trimmed decor plates, but I always like to look at them. Now for me, most of the holiday things that do really well are the vintage pieces. So that's what I concentrate on, but I wind up looking at everything as usual. I think I recognize these oven mitts from probably back in the 70s, but it could be a remake. And because there's not a lot of profit in oven mitts, I decide to leave those on the shelf. And here I spot a box that looks vintage to me. One of the ornaments is cracked, but I would like to learn more about the vintage ornaments. These were plain, so because of the broken ornament and it being quite plain, I didn't take time to look up the Holly brand. So I think I got in the store probably a little bit after nine because shipping took quite a while this morning. But the store is not as crowded as it becomes later on. The whole back wall in this store is Christmas. So if you're looking for Christmas items, Lincoln Highway, Lancaster, Goodwill has quite a bit of Christmas. This little statue has nothing to do with Christmas. I thought she was really sweet, but they wanted $7 for her, and I felt she was just like maybe a Dollar Tree statue, so I left her behind. One of the Christmas items I still look for all the time, not on this shelf, is uh, Christmas sweaters. But for some reason, this store is not putting out any of the good Christmas sweaters, the really embellished, nicely done ones. So my eyes are open for them, though. And yep, here I'm looking at Imperial China. <laughs> Not quite sure why. I still like to see what brands of China are out there, even though I'm really not picking up big sets of China. At least that's what I'm saying. I thought those mason jar drinking glasses were cool. As you can tell, we are on the move today. And I have turned the corner. Looks like we're on the white aisle. And I spot a little figurine back there with a sweet face. So I am moving things to get to her. 
She turns out to be a vase. And I thought her face was really cute. She's unmarked. So if you know who that is, can you leave a message or a comment down below? Thanks, guys. There's some Corel bowls. I don't see that they're bringing a lot of money. Here I'm spotting a duck. For a second I thought it might have been a decoy, but it is a dirty planter made in China, so I leave it behind. I thought this s'mores mug was really cute. <laughs> say the majority of items that I look at I don't purchase but for me my best knowledge comes from looking at the bottoms of things so for my eight years of selling I'm gonna say I have learned the most by turning things over that that's over comping things over going to seminars talking to other people my knowledge comes from hands-on just really looking at what's out there Hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. And here I find my first amazing find of the day. Hopefully I show you the label. I do, it's Old Hall. This is called Eware. I believe this is late 1800s, early 1900s, and it is the whole or the majority of the, I'm gonna call this the bath vanity set. So it has the, the potty. <laughs> I do notice that the potty has a little bit of damage on it, I think a little chip, but I am quick to put this in my cart. And I will be sure to show this set in the next haul so that we can talk about the pattern and how much it'll bring. I guess I should say how much I expect it to bring. We never know for sure, but I think we can take really educated guesses. Here I'm looking at a bird painted, I think it's transferware or decal. Uh, China egg. I don't know that this is even porcelain. It did feel quite cheap in my hand and it said something like every morning is a new blessing. Once I see a sentiment written on it, I'm pretty sure that it's from an inexpensive store. I thought the design of that cup was very good. If there would have been more of that, I would have picked those up no matter what the brand. Of course, unless it's like, you know, really dollar store. But with that design, I don't think it would be. And here I spot my first very cheap doll. This store is loaded with those dolls. Very starry-eyed. She looked like she needed a nap. I'm sure I look like that most days too. I will try to slow down the footage. I apologize, guys. Sometimes I'm trying to film for you so you can really get a sense of what's on the shelves and I'm shopping at the same time. And I know this store is gonna be crowded soon, so I really wanna get down all the aisles at least once before the crowd rolls in. Some days at this Goodwill, it feels like a bus pulls up and the store becomes so crowded. This is like as seen on TV, Instahang. I did not comp that. That might have brought good money and I missed it. Most of the gift packs with hot chocolate or cups or whatever, most of them I pass by because the weight will throw it into too high a price um, for the buyer. It's one thing I'm always careful of is thinking about, you know, considering the cost of the shipping because 99% of the time my buyer is paying shipping. So I always try to be conscious that the item doesn't weigh too much. Is everybody saying it? Chickens! <laughs> I don't know when I started saying that. I gotta get over it. Made in China. 
I like the brightly painted ones better. That chicken was a little mute and uh, yeah, I wasn't crazy about it. Here I'm finding a piece of pottery. It does have a hole in it. I think the hole is intended. I'm not sure what the use is, but you can see I put that in my cart on top of the clothing. A lot of times if the pottery I find is unmarked or it's a student piece, most times I go ahead and pick it up if I feel it's well done, if it's glazed inside, you know, if the potter, the student potter did a good job, I will go ahead and pick it up if I can buy in it like $1.99 or somewhere around that price point. Second egg of the day. Wouldn't it be fun to have like a treasure hunt in a, in a thrift store and play a game? I would love that where the thrift store makes a, makes a game of it and whoever wins, whatever they're saying to find, you know? What are those called? Is it called a treasure hunt? I think so. Scavenger hunt, that's it. That's what I wanna play. And yep, that was tacos right above this box I'm finding. Okay, so this box is very attractive, but cheaply done. So I left that behind. Those are dishes from, I think, Walmart or Kmart. Another beautiful find. I love a good tray. I think I've shared many times before. You guys are probably sick of hearing me say it. I corral all kinds of things on trays in my house. I feel like it makes it just more organized looking. So even if I have all kinds of scrappiness going on, if I put it all on a tray, it makes it look like, you know, like I'm real organized. I did like that owl because of the color with the light color, like a white owl, but he did have a little bit of paint loss. So I left him behind. That might've been chalkware. Chalkware breaks very easily. Bears versus babies. Very interesting. I thought it was a mink tissue box. <laughs> With my recent sales uh, in mink, I am on the hunt. This swan dish, I'm going to call it, I think it's maybe a dish or just, I don't know, a figurine. I think these are quite popular. And I do take a look at it, but it does have a chip on it. I don't imagine that would bring very good money. Cookie jars. Can we talk about cookie jars? If a cookie jar is very high profit, I will still buy it, but I have gotten away from buying cookie jars that don't bring more than, I'm going to say, 50 or $60. Most cookie jars, in my opinion, are very breakable and it takes so much packing and padding and a big box that, again, throws it into a higher category. Here I am finding coconut monkeys. I guess these are monkeys. How great are these? Now, I did not catch it on film, but I had a whole conversation with a couple who was looking at them and I think I talked the husband or boyfriend into buying one of the monkeys and a palm plant. I said, how great would that be uh, on a tiki bar? And it sent them down the whole conversation and they wound up buying it. Okay, looks like we're hitting the blue aisle and this Gold's Gym roller caught my attention. I think because my back has been sore lately from all the traveling and schlepping and I thought, wow, that'd be a great back roller. I do put it in my cart, but something like that I'm gonna run comps on every time because it could be that you know, at one point it brings better money and then um, they get saturated. So I do run a comp on that Gold's Gym roller. I look at those cards. Harry Potter is so popular. I'm not into counting cards or Legos or puzzle pieces. Anything with a lot of little puzzle pieces, a lot of little pieces, I should say. Yeah, I've gotten over counting them, so I no longer do that.
Okay, beer steins, ale steins, cups. <laughs> Just because it's marked Germany does not mean that it's a high profit item. So I never want to give you guys the impression that I just pick up anything from Europe, Italy, France, Germany. I do not. With beer steins, I do comp them. For me, they get extra points if they have an eagle or a wolf. But again, it doesn't mean that that's going to be a quick sell. Here I'm finding one mug. I triple love this mug. It's so good. Authentic souvenirs. <laughs> that sounds high, high ticket item. I do leave it behind. So this is just Zumba. I used to do really well with the Zumba pants. They're like harem pants and they're very colorful. I haven't seen them in a while though. And here we are on the green aisle. Looks like a lot of other colors mixed in. I really apologize if I'm making you guys dizzy. I think I was a little off my game today. Okay, so I find this piece of pottery and it's marked Italy, made in Italy. And I will leave it a mystery of if I bought this or not. Leave a comment down below if you guys can guess if I bought this and I'm going to show it in a haul. I have to say I did not comp it, but I wasn't really feeling it. So I do put it in my cart to give it a good thought. Now, I don't go around just scooping things off the shelf and putting it in the cart, you know, so other people can't buy it. The only time I put items in my cart is when I'm seriously considering them. I have to say, I do see a lot of shoppers go up and down the aisles and just hoard things in their cart and they shop for hours. And then at the very end, they put, you know, three quarters of it back. And I have an opinion about that. So just saying, I mean, if they have the capital and they're really seriously going to purchase and they want to think about it, absolutely. I see nothing wrong with that. But for the other buyers, I'll just leave it there that put a lot of stuff in their cart. Here I'm finding a wash bowl and pitcher. Now, for a while, the big ones were very popular and there were a lot of remakes, you know, copying the originals. I do leave that one behind because, again, I'm not really into shipping big breakables during this, you know, fourth quarter. And right away, I spot these pictures. Now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're just prints. I do see a name, but without my glasses, I wasn't able to read the name. So at this point, I'm seeing they're professionally framed. I do take a look at that. If the person put money into bringing them to a frame shop, that means that the original owner most likely felt they were worth it. Now, does that always mean it's going to bring a high dollar? No. But if it's just a poster that they bought, you know, at Walmart or something, most people are not going to get it professionally framed. So that's one of the first hints that I use that and the aesthetic of the artwork. Okay, here I'm jumping over to linens and this printed duvet or sheet caught my attention right away. The first thing I do is look at the stitching. See the stitching here, guys, how the machine went over it twice and it's very badly done. I would never pick something up like that. I think it's either handmade and they did a poor job or it is just very cheap. Okay, here we are back to hard goods. <laughs> if I was ever caught on film, oh my goodness, I'm a crazy person. Okay, speed ladder. That sounds exhausting. And here I am ending with this statue. This is one of the creepiest. I don't know. Why would somebody make that? I don't know if this was mass produced. Okay, he just looks like a zombie. I don't even believe in zombies, but 
yeah, just figured I'd end with that. So that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, go out and get what's yours.